Edwin A. Lombard was raised along with his two brothers on the west bank of New Orleans in Algiers, Louisiana. His mother, a domestic worker, and father, a nurse's aide at the U.S. Public Health Service Hospital, sent Edwin to attend All Saints Elementary School. In his spare time as a child, he enjoyed fishing and playing the saxophone. As a teenager, he attended Xavier Prep High School, run by the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament, who instilled in him the virtues of respecting others and giving back to the community. After graduating in 1964, Edwin was awarded a Rockefeller Fellowship to attend Tulane University as one of the first African-American students in the newly integrated school. There he founded the African-American Congress, which is still active to this day. In 1967, he was admitted to Southern Law School before completing his undergraduate coursework. While working towards his law degree, he got involved in several local anti-poverty agencies, including serving as president of the Algiers Fisher Community Organization, where he rallied efforts to build a health and a dental clinic and conducted a highly successful voter registration drive. After studying for two years and receiving a Roosevelt Fellowship, he graduated with a Juris Doctorate from Loyola in 1970. Lombard's career as a public official began when he was elected as clerk of Orleans Parish Criminal District Court in 1973, where he served 29 years until being elected to the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeal in 2002. As an appellate judge, he was chosen to sit ad hoc on the Louisiana Supreme Court in a landmark case on racial misconduct. Later in the devastating wake of Hurricane Katrina, Lombard was appointed judge pro tempore of the Criminal District Court of Orleans Parish to assist in rebuilding the city. In addition to nearly five decades of service in Orleans Parish, he has been instrumental in writing election laws and procedures elsewhere in the United States and internationally, including local elections in South Africa, presidential elections in Indonesia, and the historic Dayton Accords to end the war between Bosnia and Herzegovina. In 2012, he re-enrolled at Tulane University to finish his undergraduate coursework and earn his bachelor's degree. During his return as a student, he used his influence to organize and broadcast a panel discussion on the Freedom Riders of New Orleans. Then, in 2013, when the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament announced that they could no longer afford to keep Xavier Prep open, he and fellow alumni rallied to save it and reopen as St. Catherine Drexel Preparatory School. Judge Edwin A. Lombard enters the Louisiana Political Hall of Fame as a judge, academic, community organizer, activist, university lecturer, and one of the longest serving public officials in state history. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Edwin A. Lombard.